Hello, Mr. Nigren here. Welcome to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. This is Lords. <coughs> Let's continue. So I got stuck the last time I played it, but I will watch some videos on YouTube. So hopefully we will be able to pass pass through the story this time around. And uh, come further into the game. I have never finished this game before. I am playing it for the first time here. <coughs> I played the uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 long ago in 2007 for the first time, but the second game I actually never played, even though I did get the second game, I believe, in December 2007. Check the sound. Yeah, it's fine. So I've, I've owned the game, the DVD version of the game with various graphics, I've owned it. Since December 2007, I got it on my birthday, I believe. But I never played it because I wanted to finish the first game first. I have never finished the first game, I almost finished it in 2007 or 2008. Had a walkthrough back then too, but sadly. Sadly, I lost my save and never finished the game, so I still have to finish the first game. But I were far into the game, I had finished most of the planets. Okay, I had all the port members. In the second game, I have uh, never fi uh, played it uh, before this year, and this is not the DVD version, this is the Steam version, because the Steam version has better graphics, it was worth it to, to, to update to Steam, so I need to finish this before Steam stops working on my innocent computer. So, we were stuck here, I watched some YouTube videos, so hopefully we will be able to find our way. We'll see. I would like to skip this part. It's kind of boring. The droid. And the computers. Okay. Access cameras. Computer system. Run diagnosis on damaged systems. Return to main console. Run the diagnostic. Okay. Signal unit destroyed. Com system from fuel depot inoperative. Turn to the main console functions. Maintenance logs. We don't really care about um, logs. Access log. We will still check this. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids, and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Good question. <coughs> okay, emergency subroutines. Ventilation systems, check for exits from fuel depot. Air lock. Open door to air lock will do it. Voice print identification required. Strangely enough, this console has been voice printed. Not only does it require a code. Code has to be spoken in the user's voice, most likely the voice of the maintenance officer. All right. In console. still fail to <laughs> get out of this area. I watched some videos but I am not sure I will actually understand how to move past this uh, door here. Because I don't, didn't understand how to get that voice print for some reason. I'll have to check some areas. 
here is the droid, I think. Somewhere around here. Maybe in this room. Here, yeah, that there's the droid. One. Alarmed query. Indeed. Master, how is it possible that a T3 unit got dumped in such a place? Like a piece of unwanted garbage? Thoughtful extrapolation. Perhaps it ran afoul of the other droids in this facility and was attacked. Most distressing. It is too bad that there is no way to reach the droid from here, Master. Otherwise you might be able to determine what happened to it. Alright, had some more questions for you. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? How can I get into the hangar bay again? Recitation. You need to open the airlock and use the construction scaffolding on the exterior of the asteroid to make your way to the dormitory section. Of course, for that, you would need to unlock the maintenance console. And without the maintenance officer to speak the voice print protocol, that is impossible. Okay. Tell me again about the voice print protocol. A condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed musing. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid obsession. Conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility, he voice locked the droid bay functions, a prudent measure but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. Alright, voice printed. Explanation. Yes, Master. Many consoles have voice recognition sensors built into their systems so that only selected individuals can unlock them. You said you already have the code. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes, Master. The code is maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Okay. Then how can I bypass the voice print or... <coughs> if the maintenance officer is dead, how can I get him to speak the code? Answer. Master, you cannot. You are trapped here just as I am. There is nothing to do except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us. You can mimic voices. Can you speak the code or have some more questions for you? Ah, never mind. You will zip it off.
cameras. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I don't understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody st I think when the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I saw the voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. And I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including basic. Should prove useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused. Saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi and med bay? I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy and that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. That can't be good. Everyone knows that all the Jedi who followed Revan fell to the dark side. Ah, he could destroy it like that. I thought um, had an idea in my head that he had seen that in a video like many months ago. So uh, he did it. I thought it might help. In order to exit the airlock, you will need a <coughs> spacesuit stored in the locker in this room to the cube automatically when you select the outer airlock. 
Got the space suit. Good. It was that easy, we just needed to destroy the computer. I believe there was one other way of doing it too that was more complicated. Now at least we got rid of the problem. Could continue the game. Also, we are moving much faster than in the original game here. Steam version has faster movement, I believe. When we are in this suit, it's very slow in the original. I watched it on YouTube, it took forever to move. That's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface? That can't be right. Alright. Um, I'm right outside. The observation window, or your readiness to correct anything to report. Really, maybe you should look look up. We'll take number one. Huh? What are you doing out there? I need to reach the miners in the dormitory section, and this is the only way to get there, or two. Why don't you make yourself useful and shut down the venting systems before I'm burned alive? Or three, I'm just taking a relaxing walk. We'll pick number one. You're crazy, even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. K1, what do you mean? Or two, something wrong? Or three, I'm trying to pick up the pace, believe me. Um, we'll go for one. What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragas fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Can't you shut them, them down? Or it looks like I have to hurry then? Or, or uh, why are the, the vents placed so close to the exterior scaf scaffolding? I can't. I'm locked out of the main systems here. I couldn't shut it down if I tried. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes. It's almost as if... Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in. Sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. A video, huh? Yeah. Oh, an evil guy, and a lot of dead Republic troops. That's probably the main evil guy of the game, kneeling over there. The white skin, some kind of cis lord. We are not playing an evil campaign or a, a good campaign, we are just doing whatever we feel like doing and playing. I don't plan on playing it two times. We might take both good and evil decisions depending on what we feel like doing. Her appearance will change and she will look more evil. If you take good decisions, she will not change in appearance. Clearly see that it has updated 
even with the enhanced textures. Looks a bit old. He has come. Journal entry added. Jag hade även Hawk av Shrep Alltog Alltog the HK protocol draw told you to see if you can find the administration officer in the dormitory to see if he has the access codes a Republic ship has docked with uh, the mining facility <coughs> it is possible that you could use the fuel connection line to bypass the force field in the fuel depot and enter the hangar from another direction by passing the force field entirely. Okay. Person here. Contoured grip, data pad, storage log. Let's get both of them. Now the fire suppression systems have gone active and I can't even make it to the dormitory section. I watched the turrets turn their carbonite fire rays on Maben before he even got halfway across the room. Fortunately, their range doesn't seem to go beyond the room itself. So I was able to 
remain safe in the corridor. They don't have any <coughs> ranged weapons to take them out from a distance, and they didn't have a stealth field generator sneak across the room either. Tried unlocking the storage room door to see if there were any cold resistant items and gold grenades I could use. <coughs> The door was sealed from the lockdown. I don't know enough about security systems to open it, and I didn't have a sonic charge to blow the door open. Still, as long as the droids don't make it into this section, I should be alright. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's alright. Gun, probably. To take that out. So we have only one ally yet. The T3 M4 droid. And nine more we can get in the game. Mining fields with the stun force, which is nice. Components repair kit, let's get that. Repair kits are for healing droids, med packs for healing human characters or aliens. Sonic grenade and components, we'll get them. We'll move this way. Oh, we have two enemies here. That was a cool attack. One bolt. This bolt is more. Uh, destroy the guy and throw it to you. Fuck, you can't allow that to happen. And I used the med packs and still somehow lost. Sucks. Load last save game. Hell of it. Fuck. I forgot to save too, so we'll probably have to replay everything. No, we started here. Fuck. I, I should have saved. Okay, we will end the recording here, and I will return when I'm back at the right here. See you soon. Alright, I'm back. I killed a few more droids. I forgot to start the, uh, start the recording. Uh, so I killed a bunch of droids here. I didn't die this time. 
it was the droids that killed me the last time. But I killed about four droids that we didn't kill previously. Okay, we will kill some more now. To protect myself. Their attacks. I killed another one. Computer over there, but we'll open up this door. It's, it's locked, okay. We'll check the computer. Repair <coughs> reroute to the, the main console system on parts. Repair reroute to the main control system. Computer slice the system on spikes or destroy the console. Reroute the main console. Slice the system. Let's slice the system. And repair. Check due to shift logs. And return to main functions. <coughs> Access remote camera controls. Okay, we'll do that. Mess hall. There we have a droid enemy. Okay, dormitory beast. A dead body. More than one dead body. And uh, camera functions, dormitory east, <coughs> turbo lift administration level. We have uh, some dead bodies too. Return to the main console functions. Okay. <coughs> And dormitory emergency lockdown. We'll do that. So we'll open up that door too. And look out. Experience points. XP received. Might be enemies over here. Let's open up the door anyway. <coughs> I needed to stand the boy. Then shoot at it. You do not have a mag packs. You don't want it to hurt the character. Didn't drop any items this time. Those green uh, dust things might be poisonous. Search for log the whole of display and tries. Check the transmissions. Log out. Use the stun. Stun. Uh, stun droid ability, and then we'll blast it. Power blast. We'll leave our best from far. Yeah, we take way more damage from uh, if we are far. If we are a bit distance away from the enemy. other side of the same area. Alright, we'll move over here. Use the stun roid ability, then the power blast. Blast the droid. Die. <coughs> we almost.
almost lost. Sucks that we do not have any defensive. Oh, we took out that healer. Now we'll kill the... Shelding mark and uh, 
environment underlay mark one. I don't know what that is. Let's check. Select field generator chip to save the harness. Codic regulator. <clears throat> this device enables stealth mode. Skills demolitions plus one. This Tillos mining safety harness is designed to aid in a, min a miner in setting, removing demolition charges in asteroid mining claims. Okay, saves so fortitude plus two. Demolitions plus one. Hyper adrenaline amplified. Flex plus two. We'll go for the stealth one. It's already had equipped. So we I don't know our level. Lift lockdown. <coughs> Paragraph two. The mining console seems to be transmitting a five number sequence repeatedly. Looks like some sort of military flash code. Symbols are XXX. Cover Ebon Hawk. Yeah, we read that already. Here we have a map. We are probably over here. Over here. Maybe that those are the others. Not certain. Try to move a little bit. You can get a Mandalorian melee shield from this droid. We'll take it. Then we'll check the map. These seem to be this guy. So we moved here. No, we are over here. I wonder if these are enemies. Could be enemies. Here we found some gr some stuff, chemicals, some boxes. Nice. Mm, breast mask. Data pad, mess hall log, empty dot key, chemicals, get all of it. So here they never going to get around to fixing the ventilation systems. And if the food pro processors back up again, then next time the fumes start flooding the mess hall, the mess hall, I'll be dead rather than use the nauseous. Keep the breast mask here just in case we have a repeat incident. Maybe I could use that uh, breast mask to to breathe in 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 those areas with the green green gas chemicals to get that and more chemicals. Here we have a lab station. We don't care about lab stations for now. More chemicals. This door is just another door to the same area. Might have some stuff you can get here. Energy shield, repair kit, med pack, nice. Credits, money. Some other stuff. And some info, we don't care about reading it. More chemicals. Nothing from this body. Yeah. We can take the two chemicals. Got a lot of stuff here. Let's 
save the game again. And overwrite this one. So you don't have to pick everything up again. And then we got an energy shield, mining laser and mining log here. <coughs> this holo log looks like it needs to be plugged into a holo radar in order to play back the contents. Another board there. Let's pick it up too. Credits, energy shield, repair kit, med pack and mining laser. Nice. And another board here. Chemicals, credits, energy shield and mining laser. Nice. We'll check the computer. Open turbo lift door. Computer slice the door. Enter code manually. I have no idea what the code is. Okay. Computer slice the door. Touch main functions. Access camera logs. Almost didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you murklack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes. A regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they, they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. See our character there. Try the code again, and don't worry about the miners and their transmission. So it's not the video. When the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Narshada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. What? That's going to kill them all! Not all of them, but I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Korda, this turbo lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Why are you doing this? Why me? You? It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. But then you had to ruin everything by revealing her identity and then trying to harm her. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Corda. You are impulsive, crude, and soon, deceased. Droids. Query. Corta, Corta, are you dead yet? That's Smug the eight. statement. That's the I droid. believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the turbo lift codes in case you managed to get this far. Okay. Destroy the console to force open the door. Try added. Perfect. Now we're back in the beginning. We had others are, I believe. Recognize the loading screen. Emergency lockdown. Over. There's the Jedi. I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once enemy or V. There is no V here or then let's go. We'll pick one. The one that fired upon the Ebon Hawk as we attempted to rescue you. And he will not let us go without blood being shed. So what? If he's willing to bleed a little, that's more entertainment for me. Or wait, who is this enemy? Or tree? If he, he didn't bring an army with him, then he's the one in trouble. Or four, then let's go. Uh, to wait, who is this enemy? The story is a long one, and time is short. Come, we must go, and quickly. Alright, let's go, or we... Uh, there is no we here. We'll pick one. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. Alright, one. Kray has joined the party. When she's in your active party, her mentor special ability gives everyone a bonus to earn experience points. Nice. So you have Kray as a party member. Yes. And both our characters have leveled up. Let's uh, see here. 
level up. Attribute. She has 10 strength, 16 dexterity. Strength is uh, measures physical power. High strength adds modifiers to melee damage and chances to hit. Which is important for characters that use close combat weapons, viral blades, lightsabers. She needs strength. She's a Jedi. Um, dexterity. Dexterity measures agility and reflexes. High dexterity adds modifiers to ranged attack, rolls, blasters, and increases a character's defense, making them harder to hit. It's harder to hit us if we take dexterity and, and we have better aim with guns and blasters. Constitution. <coughs> constitution represents health and resiliency. High constitution adds modifiers to the vitality points gained at each level up. Constitution also determines what types of implants the character can equip. Uh, this attribute is important for all classes, so it affects uh, your health and such. Intelligence. <coughs> intelligence represents knowledge and reasoning. High intelligence adds modifiers to the number of points a character has to spend on essential skills. And wisdom. Wisdom represents uh, willpower and perception. High wisdom adds modifiers to the Jedi force points and force power saving throws. Force powers of a Jedi with high wisdom are also much harder to repel. So it's good for Jedis with high uh, knowledge in the force. Charisma. <coughs> high charisma increases the potency of a character's force powers. It also reduces the penalty when using force powers of an opposing alignment. A light side character with a high charisma can use dark side powers with less of a penalty. The high charisma also improves your companion's chance to hit. Finally, charisma influences character's persuade skill in conversations. Okay. So what I think she should focus on. So obviously wisdom. And uh, constitution, we already had that okay. Okay. We'll add intelligence if we can. No, we couldn't. Carries. So we can't add anymore. Let's see. Constitution. Oh, to level up. I just don't want to bother. Can check this character too. We're done here. Yes. We can control our companion too. Back in the beginning here. Does three has equipped <coughs> demolition? This tells us mining safety harness is designed to aid a miner in setting and removing demolition devices. Okay, charges. <coughs> Fortitude. This belt monitors hard. Heartbeat and breathing, breathing, and releases chemicals <coughs> into the body. Should uh, either of these become irregular, okay. okay. Let's just add something. Energy shield.
Jedi it made sense to give her a <coughs> gun. Might be ambushed. Back here, good. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? One, I'll take too long to explain. It'll, it'll take too long to explain. We have to leave now. Or two, <clears throat> Adam, there's no time to explain. Grab a weapon and follow me. Or shut up and get out of my way, Adam. Okay, we'll go for one. Uh, alright. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. Alright. One, Atten has joined the party, as long as he isn't the, the last party member standing can't be knocked out. Okay, and his saving throws improve the more he's wounded. Nice. Good thing and we have a clear run to the guy. ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Forgot to say before the battle fight. Hopefully it out to say it. What do you mean, or two? No, you were clear. I just don't listen to assassin droids. Three. After all, after all the deaths you caused, rescue is hardly the term I would use. Yeah. We'll go for three. Correction. I am not here to argue semantics, Master. So I will simply inform you that you are wrong. As were those recently corrected miners. Okay. Are you the one who killed all the miners in the medical bay, or two? I don't need any lectures on right or wrong from an assassin droid. 3. I don't want to fight you, but I will if you leave me no other choice. 4. Enough of this, you won't take me without a fight. Or 5. Tired of listening to you, prepare to be scrapped. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Say the game here. Assassin droid fight. Okay, couldn't save it the entire name, but still saved. And now we'll check um, this guy. We ought to level him up for the battle. The three characters, all of them seem to be important characters. It's a shame they decided to have an old uh, Jedi instead of a young one in this game. I mean, you prefer a young one over an old one. Anyway, <coughs> as a party member, in the in the first game you had a young one. But still, uh, okay, so we have this guy. We need to give him some gear. Higher fortitude than most. That and uh, energy shield, both places. Okay. Save again, just because we leveled up one character and gave him some gear. I will fight this battle, we might actually lose it, so... He is backed up by some droids. Throw some grenades against them. Drone and try added. Experience points XP received 100. Items received. Mining laser. Where that came from? <laughs> Everyone down! Huh. 
Killed him. Thought it would be more difficult because I saw in a video on YouTube that he was actually difficult to defeat, but he was easy to defeat with a gun. He was a lot more difficult to defeat with a sword. I believe when I watched a video on YouTube, the player that fought him lost the first time and had to load the save. One of your party is down. Party members who go down in combat will be revived at the end of the battle. If your entire party goes down, the game is over. Fuck, we lost one character. Systems failing, master. Ah, we lost uh, the old Jedi, but she survived because we managed to kill the boss. Let's get the remains. Draw itself a sustainable unit. And the HK cablator and advanced mining laser. Let's get all the items. Let's so check here. Might want to level up our character. Skills. I think we could use. Uh, Security is used to access electronic locking devices. Stealth could be good. And uh, proceed. Okay. Powers. Annoying to do it like this. We'll go for recommended. Except this character is down for the counting. Let's check again. Got some new stuff. Gun and a shield. Okay. Didn't have anything new for him to keep. Shield, the main character. Advanced mining laser. Heavy mining laser equipped. Okay, this is the heavy mining laser plus my torch. This is better, advanced mining laser. A new weapon we got by killing that guy. Very good. Okay. Probably got some other stuff too. So, this is the new gun we got after killing the droid. Save the game. So, we killed the boss there. Forgot to need to heal this girl too. She will heal automatically if we wait. So you don't need to waste the mad pack, we can just wait a bit. It's better. What is it? This is not the time for questions. <clears throat> it's time for answer who's who's pursing us and why They are assassins and they are responsible for the attack on the Ebon Hawk and the Harbinger <coughs> I did not expect them to find us so quickly. We must escape this facility if we remain here Then we will die Okay, your cryptic standoffish routine is starting to anger me very well. Let's keep moving 
But uh, Yedda is still not healed. I hear you. Could we check her equipment too? Plasma torch. Any laser. Equipped. Okay. This this leave weapons. Okay, cancel. Well, we can move. some battles before we are done here. if we are going the right way. Circles. Yes. The sword, but not with the blaster. Stealth field enhancer. We get it.
I hear you. That one couldn't be attacked. Chemicals in a med pack. Yeah. Poison. What is it? I hear you. Okay, poison. Still, that's bad. Just. Yeah, he's already down for counting. That's bad. You might get them killed in these poisonous areas. Stimulant. Okay, I think we need to. So we gear stealth field changer. Uniform. Safety harness. We had something that would protect against uh, against uh, the gas and the dirt kit. Battle stimulant. Jedi support. Stationary ranged. Aggressive. Jedi support. Antidote kits could be good as they get poisoned in this area. But I think we are wrong. In the wrong area, you'll go back there. Been poisoned. Just say the word. Didn't work, he'll die again. Fuck that. I don't know where we're supposed to go. What is it? You haven't been inside this place. It's locked. Just say the word. Over here. The airlock door has been sealed, so you're not supposed to go back there. Camera, 
asshole. Dormitory east. Dormitory east. Administration level. Check due to shift logs, access remote camera controls, access dormitory comm systems. Oh god. No, I don't believe we're supposed to go there. the Ebon Hawk. Um, it is possible that you should uh, that you could use the fuel connection line to bypass the force field in the fuel depot and the hangar from another direction. did uh, quite a bit this time so we might actually stop here and then check YouTube to see where we're supposed to go so I can continue another time we'll see this door is locked go 
back here. level. here. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to end the video very soon. And check the video on what to do next. <coughs> Repair scavenge the mining droid for spare components. Examine the unit's behavior core. 
disable droid allow you to move by it. Leave the droid alone. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. Maybe you'd, maybe you'd like it back at your, in your cell. <clears throat> Two. It's not too late to dump you back in the security room. Three. Athens, right. We need to get off this ship. Four. Come down. We need a plan, not accusations. Five. There's nowhere to else to go. The facility is sealed off. Okay. Let's go for. Calm down. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Okay, one. I saw the vessel dock. When it did, a fuel pipe entered the fuel depot behind the force field. Two. You can bypass the force field to the hangar by getting to the engine room on this ship, then exiting through the fuel pipe. Three. As long as the harbor bringer is docked. Can use it to reach the hangar where the Ebon Hawk is. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Okay, one. Then how did this ship dock here? Two. Why don't we steal this ship? Three. Survived Paragus, we can take control of this ship. Four. Well, if you've got an idea, instead of another complaint, let's hear it. The two of you, be silent. One, he started it. Two, I'd watched that imperious tone of yours, losing patience with both of you. Or three, wait, how did the Harbinger get the critical drift charts it would need to dock here? Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Navi computer. They'd have to. One. So, let's get their codes then, then we can worry about reaching the Ebon Hawk. Two, let's focus on the problem we can't solve, getting the codes, otherwise getting to the hangar means nothing. Three, I think we can get there. Anybody see any problems with going to the nav na navy computer? Well, we'd have to get to the bridge, I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Now that you have a party, certain actions and dialogue responses will increase or de decrease your influence with your companions, depending on their personalities. Some respect cruelty, while others may respect nobility, loyalty, cleverness, brute force, and so on. The higher your influence with the companion, the more your alignment affects them. <coughs> and extreme high and low influence with the companion can open additional dialogue choices. There are benefits to both, so treat them as you will. Our enemies gather while we wait here. Okay, one, forgive me, Kreia. I was distracted for a moment. I'll be more mindful of the present. Two, watch that tone, old woman. Will not be lectured by you. Three, Athens' plan was a good one. Let's head to the bridge and get the drift charts. Four, still debating about whether we should just leave Atten here or not. 5. Feel free to stay behind Atten. We could use someone to soak up some blaster so shots from any more assassin droids. Okay. Okay, we'll go for one. Very well.
be enemies here, I think. We'll save the game here, by the way. Because we don't know what will happen, I don't want to replace stuff. Here is the area where we saw the enemy leader previously. Here is the navy computer, nice. Let's go there. <coughs> Repair, reroute the navy computer. Download the orbital drift charts for the Pragus asteroid field, yes. Check Harbinger logs. Access log emergency broadcast. We've taken on passengers to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low-stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. <coughs> Access log Sith warship. Report. The Sith warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berths, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beams to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort, but we'll find out. Okay, excess log survivors. Everyone in the Evan Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. Okay, excess log emergency report. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to MedLab, now! Alright, return to the main console functions. Check Harbinger logs. Oh, we have done that already. Log out. guy is no longer here. Take this. <coughs> we'll open the plastic cylinder. Terrace survival glass. So Terrace was on planet in the first game. Energy real computer spike, uh, parts. We'll get all of it. A locked door. I'm supposed to go here. They probably ambush us. Again. Change casual gloves. Check our inventory again. We might have new stuff now. Stealth Felix Enhancer. Survey gear. Skills awareness. Let's go for that one instead. There is survival gloves. This gloves name is marketing tactic to remind people that little extra protection is a good investment. 
Okay, let's try this instead. Cylinder, space or sensor, Mandalorian belief real. Okay. Survey gear, space or sensor, bonus feet, weapon focus, plaster pistol. Okay. Let's use that one. Good. Okay. Enemies. Force push. Let's see where that came from. That More difficult that to defeat. From. I think the droids were more difficult to defeat than these guys. We also have the team now. We'll take the components there. Oh, here we have escape pods. We'll take one of them. All the escape pods have been locked. They cannot be used. But... And we can't leave. Okay, we need to move this way. And leave. We'll go back for now. And return here later. We need to go over here. And do some stuff before we can continue. Low security door. What is it? Uh, use. What is it? Why are we stopping? I do, what do you know about Paragus? I know we need to get out of here. Like I said, it's a minefield looking for any excuse to blow. Can you tell me why you were locked up here at least? Look, I'd be happy to share my whole life story when we aren't getting chased by assassin droids and Sith troops, alright? Okay, alright. Let's destroy the door, that's what I was supposed to do. I didn't go too well. It hardly damaged the door. We don't want to go back there. We'll have to enter the door again. Probably supposed to go into that door. This one. We came from there. Ah, we can't shoot it down. Good.
Good. We'll get the world soon. Perfect. The Republic soldiers here. We'll change I the Jedi so we can open up this with a sword. Yeah, it will break soon. Broken item, exchange, casual gloves, and the med pack will get that. We'll open this door. Destroy it with a gun. Oh, we have some cool gla uh, glasses now. Yeah. I didn't see previously. Access log, course change, Onderon. We've been diverted from Onderon to the Outer Rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard-pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. Okay, access log, passenger transport. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the outer rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of her identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, she's got diplomatic level priority, whether she knows it or not. Okay, access log, distress signal. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine, or a trap. Alright, access log, priority override. Well, we wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there is a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it recovered. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that she reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure she arrives intact. Good on it, Captain. Admiral Seed, out. Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I am always being kept in the d Query, you sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything she needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. Her safety is our top concern. Statement, I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. All right, return to the main console functions. Log out. Throne and try added. Experience points received 100. Open this plasteel cylinder. Lorian melee shield was obtained. Could give that to one of the characters.
Iron Blaster and Credits Oh, a new area I wonder what happened now, if it's a video loading Or if it crashed Hopefully a video no, it crashed, fuck. Then I don't know if I can continue to play. Because Steam, uh, the, night, the Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords on Steam might have actual issues that prevents us from continuing. I could play the CD version, I have it installed, but it doesn't have all the mods installed. And I don't have enough room on the C drive to in install all the mods, but that could be an option. The problem is that the graphics are so much worse on the DVD version. Yeah, with the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1, <coughs> I believe that I found really cool mods that increased the resolution up to 1920, 1080p. But with the second game, it's really bad resolution. But we'll end here. So that was the proper second episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Uh, unfortunately, it crashed when loading that new area. So You'll have to look it up on Google to see what that could be. What kind of issue is causing that to happen. It prevents us from getting any further in the game. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.